we carry a search image in our minds. So it was like, here was the bone, and here was the bone I had studied somewhere in my mind, and the two of them came together. And I realized right away that this was a bone from a human ancestor. A name like Lucy is simple to remember. It's like bringing up the name of a relative, which in fact she is. I still get goosebumps. I still am excited about it when I think about it. I think that, that natural history museums are vital. Uh, people say, oh, they're old stuffy museums and they have specimens around that are stuffed in cotton and boxes. And You know, what are they telling us? What they're telling us is there, there was an enormous variation and variability in animals all over the world. There was a diversity which is gone. It's disappearing. It's shrinking. So it's terribly important to have those specimens to re-examine in a different light. There is no goal in mind. Natural selection didn't look at Lucy and say, well, we're going to change her and her descendants and ultimately we're going to evolve into sapiens. She lived, her species lived for almost a million years, which meant that uh, they were very successful. Humans are very successful, but the way we measure success is how many of us there are. 21st century humans have forgotten how much a part of nature we really are. I am uh, Professor Donald Johansson, or Johansson, and I am a paleoanthropologist and study human origins.